Okay, so we are still in our discussion on uh, inverse Laplace transform. So we will now solve another problem, which we are going to get the inverse Laplace transform. So we have we need to find the inverse Laplace transform of s plus seven over s squared plus 2s plus 5 okay so we'll do the three to our solution so we we'll just use the um the we we'll use the first shift theorem so that is what we have um been discussing when we are going to transform our um, equation into e to the at f of t so that is the first shift theorem Okay, so now we will just factor out this one. Okay, so just copy first our um, given. Then we will have the inverse Laplace transform of um, S plus 7 all over. So get, getting the perfect square of this one. So we have S squared plus 2S plus 4. Okay, I know. It will not be 4 but 1 s squared plus 1 so this is 5 so we'll end up here with 4 okay then we'll just separate this one so we have the inverse Laplace of um, s plus 7 okay I oh, know we just simplify it first. We have s plus 7 all over s plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Okay. So now we need to find a solution for us to have our s plus 1 here. So we could have that one as s plus 1 plus 6 all over s plus 1 squared so this is another quantity plus 2 squared okay so if we are going to separate that one okay so we have inverse Laplace of s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus inverse Laplace of 6 all over s, s plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. So, so as you can see, this will be a uh, sine kt or sine function and this will be the cosine function. Okay, because our s here See, this is the entirety of our S. This will be our K. So, this will be also our S. This is our K. This is our S. And this is not our K. So, we could factor out this one so that we'll end up with 3 times 2 in which our 2 is our K. So, our final answer now will become um, our A here, or our A is... Uh, negative 1 because this, this is s minus a but our actual function is s plus 1 so our a is negative so we have e raised to the negative a t or a t so negative 1 we will we'll just um just not write the negative uh, the 1 so just write it as t this is cosine here so we have cosine our k is 2 t plus so this is 3 we could factor out our t as a constant so 3 sine uh, 3 e to the negative t sine to t so we just factor out our e to the negative t so e to the negative t cosine to t plus 3 sine to
Okay, and that now will be our, so this now is our answer. Okay, so I hope you understand something in this video. So I guess you need to um, have a better understanding in your um, algebra, especially on man, uh, manipulating the, uh, the terms in each of the functions. So we will also have another example for this one. So for now, this is the end of the video. I hope you learned something. And as always, enjoy learning.